What's up YTPC, this is DSG Pipe Soaker with another pipe soaking video. And today, I'm re-uploading the full review after two months of breaking it in and smoking it, uh, getting to know it better, the Degner P5 Devil Ants. And why did I take the other one down and I'm uploading this one? Well, because I saw myself on that video making some presentation errors, and you know what? I can do better than that, so I'm going to upload it again, and yeah, I'm going to do the presentation a hell of a lot better. You know what the problem was? I wasn't in the spot where I normally do my reviews. You know, I pretty much have to do it here. I mean, this is the spot to do all of my pipe smoking related reviews is in the locksmith shop so without further ado this is the full review of the Degner P5 Devil Ants after a couple of months of smoking it and really getting to know it it is an all black pipe with an acrylic stem an acrylic saddle bit stem mind you it has a carbon fiber gray a uh, sort of checkered-ish, like a circular checkered, if that makes any sense, pattern. Looks like it has some stainless steel rings on there as well. That's one of the logo stamps. There's another one right there. It is a non-filtered pipe. You can see there's still some bare briar there. There's the non-filtered section. You guys notice something about this pipe? I'll give you a second to think about it while I screw this back in. Looks brand new, doesn't it? Yeah. After two months of smoking it, almost every day, sometimes every other day, uh... For a couple months straight, and after doing some deep cleans on it, the only real marks that are on it are these little abrasions. Oh, by the way, this thing, best clencher, best clenching pipe in my collection. But yeah, there's otherwise no marks on here, and I don't coddle my pipes. I smoke them. Especially if they clinch really well like this one, I just throw it in my car. You know, I don't abuse my pipes per se, but again, I don't, I don't coddle them either. And out of all the pipes that I tend to take with me when I smoke in my car and I'm driving to work or I'm driving to a friend's house or, you know, whatever... The pipe just gets put in the car with all the other stuff that's in my car... If I take it with me, you know, I'm either smoking it or I have it in a bag, and the pipe just doesn't, it refuses to get any kind of scratches or burrs or markings or anything like that on it. It's a very well-made pipe in that regard, and the fact that you can do that is an amazing attestment to it. It really shows you that the Dagner's meant for this to be a working man's smoking pipe. So, with the appearance out of the way, let's talk about the smoking mechanics. It's got a three-quarter of an inch bowl, or a chamber, I should say. The chamber depth is about one and a quarter inches. It's centered pretty well. Let's see if I can show you that. If the lighting will cooperate, and it won't, oh well. You can see also, look at that nice caking on there. Isn't that beautiful? It's not completely caked, like it's not completely broken in yet, but it's getting pretty close. It's caking very evenly, even after two months of smoking it, and smoking multiple different kinds of blends out of it. 
it smokes really well. Uh, it doesn't cake on the bottom because I don't smoke it on the bottom. I have noticed that it will get hot a little bit, but it cools down very fast. It doesn't really burn as far as tongue bite goes until you get to the very bottom, but most pipes that are, you know, under five inches or like four and a half inches and less, I've noticed that they tend to do that. And that makes sense. You don't have a lot of travel between where you're clenching the pipe and where the embers are at. There's not a whole lot of travel for the air to cool down, whereas in a church warden there would be. And you know what? As far as tobaccos go, originally in my first impressions video, I had mentioned that it, smoking, that it smokes everything perfectly. And for the most part, that's true. And this is one of the biggest reasons why I need two months or three months to really get to know a pipe is to figure out what genre of tobacco it prefers. And while it will keep up with the specific genre of pipes that I have, like it'll keep up with my Balkan and English pipes, not a problem. Same thing with my Virginia Periques. It tends to bring out the Virginia in pipe tobacco. I've noticed this with Elizabethan Mixture, and I've noticed this with Firestorm. I've also noticed it with English Blends. For some reason, this pipe will smoke them just a hair sweeter than everything else. But like I said, um, it's really the only pipe in my entire collection that'll smoke just about every genre perfectly. Like it was meant to smoke that specific kind of tobacco. So, with all that being said, I highly recommend this. You guys should be, you know, clamoring to get them. Well, a lot of people are. I noticed that as of the recording of this video that the Dagners do not have the Dagner, or the P5 Devil Ants up on their site anymore. I think you can get them at the Danish Pipe Shop. There's a few other places that are retailing the Dagner Pipes. So shop around, get these while you still can. I've heard nothing but good reviews about the P5 line in general. So yeah, go get them. You know, don't wait for when they're gone to decide that you need to have them. So I'm going to end this video here. We're almost at eight minutes. So it's a good place to end the in the review. This has been DSG Pipe Soaker with another Pipe Soaking video. You guys have a good day.